the facts on the ground are, the economic facts on the ground are, that there are pensioners who are living in dire poverty in this country. Yes. And there are students that are full of debt. Yeah. What's going wrong? I think kind of the common line is class, isn't it? <laughs> it's also, um, that's, the, that's yeah. the thing we don't talk so much about. Um, so do you think using the generational divide is actually a way of, of camouflaging the class divide? I think, I think so. Even kind of like relatively privileged millennials, like, the kind of job I'm doing is privileged but is insecure and maybe kind of middle class journalists in the past had more job security, they probably might have been looking at buying a house. So things have changed but the people things are really bad for are, as always the people you know in lower paid work. The people who can least afford it. Yeah, I think like 75% of um, people over 65 own a house. So th there are there are generational differences. Well, I think what Abby says is you know, absolutely you know, on target. I mean, today and Wednesday, it's, uh, we're, we're in London, and the Evening Standard has its big property and homes supplement, and it's got a big front page about, at last, an opportunity for young people to buy houses at £500,000. Which young people? <laughs>